The world's hedge fund industry manages no less than nearly $2 trillion in assets globally. 70% of Europe's hedge funds are based here in London, and I'm off to spend some time with one of them to learn a few trade secrets. Lex Van Damme has spent two decades trading the markets. He's now a partner at Hampstead Capital, a $700 million hedge fund and family office. With typical management fees of 2% on all assets and a 20% performance bonus, managing a hedge fund is lucrative, but it's also all-consuming. It must be quite stressful, right, doing your yeah, job Yeah, yeah, it's days. really stressful, especially at the moment. Sartre was up 7%, we're now down 7%. You know, I sit here all day long, um, between 7 and 5, I sit behind my screen, then I go home, I watch the market from home, at night I wake up probably once or twice to look at what's happening in Asia, so it just goes on and on and on, and this year has been totally crazy. Hedge funds use sophisticated investment techniques that enable them to make money when the markets are rising and falling, like short selling, the borrowing and selling of a 15. stock with the hope of buying it back later at a cheaper okay. price. What are your memories about the credit crunch? Was it a particularly difficult time? And the credit crunch, it was extremely difficult. Everybody was depressed, everybody, you know, lots of people got made redundant, and we all thought, well, you know, this is never going to be okay again. So then, you know, a year, two years later, people tell you that everything is fantastic again. So what do you think, uh, Harry? Should we buy this stock or should yeah. we wait? I think it's a great infrastructure play on the, on the internet. Most hedge funds pretend that what they do is really, really difficult, and it really isn't. You know, y you try to identify good companies that you want to own, and I think a lot of people can actually analyze it themselves. This is some serious technology here. Do you, what, are you, what are you looking at? Do you need all these kind of screens? Well, unfortunately, you really do these days, because there's so many different asset classes that trade, and they're all correlated. Everybody looks at everything, everybody is paranoid, everything is correlated, there's computers in there that are just trade and trade and trade. So for every human trade that happens, there's probably 10 trades that are being done by computers. You've got a chart of gold here, right? Mm -hmm. It's at 1700 plus. Is that not expensive for gold? There's not enough of it. Um, they can't print more of it. It has so no utility. Gold, well, it has to me. I'd rather have it than a piece of paper that the government can print. If you have some money, I think you, you buy gold, you buy government bonds, and you put your cash in the bank. Which means this 43-year-old Dutchman's not just hedging his bets, but keeping his eye on the big picture too. Nina Dos Santos, CNN, London.